Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Suma Uday. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist and a metabolic bone specialist working at Mazumdar Shaw Medical Center, Narayana Health City, Bengaluru. Today, we're going to talk about vitamin D. Vitamin D is a hormone which is synthesized in our skin when we expose our skin to sunlight. Vitamin D is important for absorbing calcium from the gut in our bodies. This calcium in turn makes our bones strong. So we require vitamin D to keep our bones healthy and strong. More and more research and evidence suggests that it is also important for our immune health. If vitamin D levels are low, children can get a condition called rickets and adults can get a condition called osteomalacia, in both of which the bones become soft and break easily. The symptoms of low vitamin D will depend on how low the vitamin D level is, how long it's been low for, and what the age of the individual is. Usually adults present with very non-specific or vague symptoms such as tiredness or aches and pains. Children, however, can have very severe symptoms. The most severely affected are children under one year of age. They can have serious health complications such as seizures and heart failure. Older children can present with what we call as stunting or short stature. They can have bowing of their legs and they can also have muscle weakness and have delay in walking. Vitamin D deficiency can be diagnosed on a blood test. In children, to look for rickets, we may have to perform some x-rays. Vitamin D deficiency is treated with preparation called ergocalciferol or cholecalciferol. These are given in slightly high doses. Please see a specialist who knows and understands the different vitamin D preparations because there's a lot of preparations available in the Indian market. Some of these have a component called calcitriol, which actually if taken in large doses or for long duration of time can cause high calcium levels in the blood and also uh, renal scarring and renal failure. So please see a specialist who knows the exact doses to use for varying levels of deficiency in different age groups. Individuals who do not spend much time outdoors uh, and are not exposed to sunlight will be prone to vitamin D deficiency and also individuals with certain underlying chronic health conditions will be prone to vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency can be prevented by sufficient exposure to sunlight, the appropriate times and appropriate duration. However, if an individual has restrictions because they cannot expose themselves to sunlight or cannot spend a lot of time outside because of other health reasons or allergies, then they can get vitamin D through diet. Although the sources of dietary vitamin D, they are very few and include foods such as fish, mushrooms, eggs, and also some fortified foods. In India, uh, milk is fortified. Certain milks are fortified, not all of them. And if one cannot achieve vitamin D through any of these, then they should be taking supplements.